relationships. But you're wrong. Young dude, that's not gonna happen. That's not, not what gonna you get are. her groove back. <laughs> no, <laughs> she nah, just would it. Yeah. How does that? How did that influence you growing? Like your parents, uh, in, in influence your relationships, your dating, your sexual lifestyle, all of that. You know what's funny? Uh, people talk a lot about how having two parents is better than having one, and on some levels, I think it is. But everybody's gonna get fucked up somehow by their family. Doesn't matter if it's two people or one or three people. That's just how family works. For me, the good things about my family was they, they really valued education. My parents made sure you go to school. There, there, would, there would be books in the house, all of that stuff. Like, that's the, my dad never had money for anything. But as soon as you told him you need money for school, he would find a way to make it happen. Right, right. And I really love them for that because that gives you a sense of, this is the, the power I need to have in life. I need to be, like, I need to know stuff. I need to have a skill. I need to walk in a room and not feel like I'm less than because I can't talk in that room. So I really appreciate that. But then there's the other thing, which is kind of the negative side of being an immigrant, where your parents kind of want to be proud of you, but they only want to be proud of you if you do what Very they funny. want yeah, you to do. <laughs> That's all it is. They will, yeah. I, I want to tell my neighbors I have a doctor. Yeah. It's like, well, do you care if I want to be a doctor? Does that oh. matter to you? No. Nope. No, not at all. I just I want my know. neighbors to know nope. that I you made are a goddamn doctor. doctor. Right, right, right. So um, for me, for right. me going it. into this thing was a heartbreak, man. My, mm -hmm. my mother did not speak to me for three months. Really? Yeah. To this day, my so mother what was that? Not. What was that conversation like? Well, I did not even get to have the conversation with her at first because I was saving it to be comfortable because I knew it would be a hard conversation. But my brother went around and told her, so he kind of stole that moment is, from me and she decided not to speak to me. This is exactly what people in this advice. country go through when they're trying to come out of the closet. This is, <laughs> this, that's how bad like, being I'm funny. Yeah, a, yeah, a non-doctor yeah, so is. It's a very similar thing. Wow. Like, I don't know if, I, I don't know. Now, I know was your I'm brother kind of funny. talking about it? Phase or what? Was, was your brother talking about it? At, at, was he trying to tell on you to kind of create friction or was he proud of you and he talked about it or he didn't know that there was going to be a thing or what? I don't, I don't think it was out of pride for me. I think, he, I don't know if he was trying to create friction, but it's. Is your brother a hater? That's hard to say. Well, okay, I'll tell you. That, that, that that's, when you got to say that's hard to say, that's a yes. Yeah. That is I'll, I'll tell you a story like about my brother you. that I don't know if that makes him a hit or not. But my dad, you know, Caribbean dads, they cheat. My dad cheated, and my that's brother was the one who came cheated. and told my mom about it. <laughs> He's a snitch. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, yeah, he's the one. To this day, I feel like there's a unresolved tension between him and my dad because I would assume he's the so. one who told my mom. You're fucking yeah. constantly ratting your own kid, <laughs> ratting on you. Yeah, you man, school two o two. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.